In today's video, we're going to be hacking Minesweeper. You're going to go into game, make sure sound is checked. Click on the boxes till we find a bomb. And we get that explosion. So let's open up WinMine inside of 64 Debug. Click on the Run button to go to the start of the program. Right click and search for all intermodular calls for the current module. And you should go through all the functions and any of them that you don't recognize, you should look them up um, in MSDN. After you search through it, you'll find a particularly interesting function. And you'll find a play sound W function. Here's the documentation for that. It says the play sound function plays the sound specified by the given file name, resource, or system event. This is the only function that plays music or any type of sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to set breakpoints on it and try to trigger uh, the explosion. We're going to see what calls that function and manipulate it so we win instantly. Hit F2 on each call to play sound. Click on the CPU window again and just run the program. We automatically hit a breakpoint. Run the program again. And now we're running. So just check click on a box after some reversing you're gonna realize that this call is always called at the start of a game we can ignore this breakpoint so let's remove it click click F2 I'm gonna run the program again I'm gonna click on a box and a breakpoint wasn't triggered that is odd Let's make sure the breakpoints are all still intact. They are. Maybe. Maybe this function is not shouldn't be dismissed. So let's press F2. Now. What we're going to do is we're still going to remove that breakpoint, but we're going to scroll up to the start of the function, which is here. We're going to right click on the start. Um, under find references to selected address, we're going to click that. And there's three calls to this function. So we're going to breakpoint on all three calls. One of these calls has to be what we're looking for. Because as soon as we disabled that play sound function breakpoint, we heard that explosion. So let's try it again. Let's click on the frowny face. Click on a box. We see an uh, automatic clock, an automatic call here. We're not interested in this one. So let's remove that. Click on run. This is the call on talk sound. So let's remove that as well. Click on run. Click on a box, click on a box. And we see the explosion and we see a call. So let's scroll up to the start of this function, which is here. We're going to right click, uh, search for, well, find references, find references to select the address. And we see these three calls, double click on it. And we're going to comment this possible um, game over function. Let's go back hit escape wait you can't do that so we'll just double click on it nope that doesn't work either so click answer and we're at the start of the function so right click find references to select the address go to the second one do the same thing possible game over function hit answer right click find references to selected address and do the same thing for that third one. Hit enter. We're going to right click, find references to. Well, at this point, we should remove all, all the other breakpoints. So just hit delete on those, go into CPU, right click, find references to selected address. F2, F2, F2. 
Now we have breakpoints on every single call to our game over function. Let's run the program. We hear that explosion. I hope you know why that sound was delayed. We stepped into the function that called that play sound function and that's why as soon as we ran it, the function we had put a breakpoint on made the call to play sound. So we're, we're working backwards. Let's click on the frowny face, check on a box. Wow, okay, check on this box. This is definitely a bomb. And we see a breakpoint on our possible game over function. We found it. What are we pushing onto the stack? We see a push one here, but there's a push zero here. Let's modify this value so it pushes one onto the stack. We see a push one, but we didn't, we didn't run this instruction. We came from this jump. No, not that jump. This jump. And right above that, we see a push zero. So let's run the program. And what do we get? We won. So hit OK. And we're officially on the high score list. Interesting. So let's analyze what's going on here. It checks, it makes a call to this function. It pushes zero. And then there's this jump to lose. So the function probably looks like this. Game over, Boolean win. Where if win is false, we lost. If win is true, we obviously won. So I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, guidedhacking.com slash donate, patreon.com slash guidedhacking. Please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out.